I'm peering out the window of a Soviet-era helicopter. We're hovering above Lake Cheko, deep in the heart of the Siberian taiga. It's a long way to come for a flyby, but then this is no ordinary lake. A hundred years ago this week, a giant explosion lit up the dawn sky in the northern hemisphere. Locals reported columns of fire shooting through the air and light visible as far west as England, 5,700 kilometres away. Here, we're flying over what's thought to be the epicentre of the blast, eight kilometres southeast of the lake. The blast knocked down trees in a radial pattern, over more than 2,000 square kilometres. Most of the forest has since recovered, but locals still stumble on charred remains of old trees that were flattened in the blast. One of these huts was built in 1927 by the first scientist to investigate the explosion, but researchers are still struggling to explain what caused it. Most think a meteorite exploded high in the atmosphere, 5 to 10 kilometres above the epicentre. Some researchers believe a fragment of that meteorite survived and created an impact crater that is now Lake Cheko. But there's also a new theory. Was the blast caused by a huge spurt of gas ejected from the ground? In the next few days, researchers will return to the area. They're hoping to find new evidence that will finally put the mystery to rest.